there, my name is Ruben van der Cruzen, and today I'm here to talk to you about the corporate litigation, investigations, contentious insolvency and fraud team. It's a bit of a mouthful, but hopefully I'll be able to explain to you today a little bit about what we do as a team. First, to introduce myself, I'm Ruben van der Cruzen, a six-year qualified senior associate in the, what I'll call the corporate litigation team going forward. Um, I started at the firm as a trainee back in 2015 after a vacation scheme in 2012. During my training contract, I sat in the corporate litigation team in the pensions litigation subgroup. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. I also did a little bit of work in the public law litigation team and I did two seats in the banking department, including six months in Washington DC. So why did I join the corporate litigation team? Well, during my time as a trainee in the department, I did a lot of interesting work on, on a fraud case, which wasn't quite pensions litigation related, but it was a real insight into the kind of variety we get to do in our department. But what really made me fall in love with litigation was my time in the public law disputes team when I worked on a judicial review case acting for one of the firm's clients, Uber, against Transport for London. And after that, I knew I wanted to do litigation work. So I qualified into the corporate litigation team and I've been there for the past six years. I want to explain a little bit about what we do as a team. It's a very long name and there's a very wide variety of work that we do. Corporate litigation can mean acting for big corporate clients, but it can also mean acting for individuals. One of the most high profile cases our team has worked on in recent years is for a Ukrainian bank seeking to recover assets which it is alleged were stolen by two of its former shareholders in a high profile fraud. Our team is involved pursuing those assets across multiple jurisdictions and secured a freezing order in relation to several billion pounds worth of assets back in 2017, which is still in place and the proceedings still go on to this day. That's right, these are very long running cases that we work on as a team. And in that context, I'd like to mention the contentious insolvency work that we do. When I was at school, it was the, the time of the financial crisis back in the late 2000s. And one of the cases we've worked on as a team is for the administrators of one of the Lehman Brothers group in the UK. And that is the, the cont contentious insolvency work that we do, involved in working out what to do with that money and dealing with how the distributions from that estate are handled. The work I find the most interesting though is the team's investigations work, where companies approach us perhaps in response to a whistleblower allegation or a press article about issues in the company and ask us to find out what's happened and investigate allegations to find out the truth, but also to advise them on the risks facing them as a business. This is what I find the most interesting and it might not be this sound like the kind of work a litigator would do, but we advise at all stages of the dispute, right from the very start to the very end. The most exciting case I've worked on during my time in the team has been for a client called Eurasian Natural Resources Corporation, or ENRC. We've been working on this case since 2017, and it's been a real headline maker. ENRC alleged that its former solicitor breached his duties to them by leaking documents to the press and by leaking information to the serious fraud office in secret meetings behind the company's back. It's been a really exciting case to work on and I've been there from start to finish. Last year in a judgment handed down, the company was found to be right on all these key allegations that were made about its former solicitor and found that Mr. Gerard, their former solicitor, had in fact leaked these documents to the press and been in a number of behind the scenes meetings with the serious fraud office. The case is still going and I suggest you keep an eye on the papers to find out what happens next. But what does that mean for you as a trainee or an associate when you're working in the team? I'm going to explain that a little bit more now. I'm a supervisor in our team and I supervise a trainee solicitor who sits with me every day. And I had a conversation with them earlier to try and explain to you what, what exactly they do that differs from what I do. When you join our team, you get a rich variety of work. You'll probably be assigned to a big case, 
but you will also be supporting your supervisor on lots of other matters. That work can vary massively. You could be assisting your supervisor in preparing evidence for court, putting together the exhibit, which um, will support their witness statement. You could be preparing files for court, um, assisting the counsel team and their, on queries for trial. Um, or you could be doing things like a research note on a discrete point of law. It really is a variety. Uh, I won't pretend that it's always super exciting, but you can't say that you do the same thing every day. When you qualify into a group like ours, you have a slightly different role. You get a little bit more independence. So instead of collating the evidence in support of that witness statement, you might be drafting it. Instead of reviewing documents on, on a disclosure review platform, you might be overseeing that review. And it, it's a really interesting role. I particularly enjoyed qualifying into the team and seeing how my role changed. As a senior associate, now I'm managing more members of our team. Uh, I get a lot more responsibility. Instead of being at the back, sitting there, maybe taking a note during an interview, I get to conduct that interview. And so you really see the evolution of the role all the way through your time in the team. And that's what I liked when I was sitting in the team. Not only was the work I was doing as a trainee interesting, but I could see that in the future, this is the sort of place I would like to work. And I've seen that on the cases I've been working on. I recently um, was leading an investigation into some allegations that were raised regarding uh, a company's practices in a far-flung part of the world. And I just remember when I was a trainee in the team taking notes during those calls and I'm seeing now how I'm leading those interviews. It, it really shows that you develop and progress as someone in our team. And I'm quite proud of that, but I also think it's, it's a very exciting place for people to come and work every day. A number of partners in our team are leading the firm's pro bono initiatives and members of our team are encouraged to participate where possible. One of the things that I've been able to do whilst in the team is work on criminal injuries compensation claims and I've represented a couple of clients in appeals that went to the first tier tribunal. Those cases are really interesting because you can make a very real difference to people's lives. In one of our cases, our client was a victim of human trafficking to the UK and experienced a number of terrible things when they arrived here. We were able to secure nearly £100,000 in compensation. As a more junior lawyer, you're given a lot more responsibility on these cases and you're expected to run them yourself. And I love that experience as a, as a junior lawyer. Also, what people don't understand about what a litigator does at Hogan Levels is that you don't necessarily get to stand up in court and make submissions all the time. And th this is a real opportunity for you to practice your advocacy skills and speak in a courtroom environment, which I was able to do in those cases. So whilst it might seem that the pro bono initiative is helping people, which it is, it also benefits you as a lawyer when you're in our team. So come and join us in the corporate litigation, investigations, contentious insolvency and fraud department. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's a really fun place to work where you get tested every day. Look forward to meeting you.